Hi boys and girls, um, I greet you all in Jesus name. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus name we want to thank you for today. We thank you for this time which we ask that you bless in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. So, um, boys and girls, this a lot of you have heard about uh, Zacchaeus, the short guy story. I've um, been thinking about it this week and I found some very interesting things which I want to share with you today. So if you have your Bible, let's go to Luke chapter 19 verse 1 to 10. This is what the Bible says. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. We're going to call him Uncle Zach. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree uh, to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, chances are he went, Zach, Come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down, and once he, wel he welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to mutter, He has gone to be a guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. Remember, he was very rich. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is the son of Abraham. For the son of God, for the son of man came to seek and serve the lost. Now, Boys and girls, I want to say this to you. He is a very rich man, lots of money, um, and he's the chief at his workplace. Uh, but he's not happy. He knew there was something missing in his life. He's not happy. He has heard about Jesus, what he's doing, and so his desire is to see Jesus. So what does he do? He knows that Jesus is going to be passing by this place. He goes up a, a sycamore tree so that he could see Jesus. Now, you saw in verse 10, Jesus says, For the Son of Man came to seek and serve the lost. So, Uncle Zach is up a tree. Jesus is passing by. And he says, Zacchaeus, come down. So he comes down and they go to Zacchaeus' house. So Zacchaeus allows Jesus to be his guest at his house. Let's not talk about all those other guys who didn't want um, Jesus to go into the house of a sinner. Here is what I want to say to you boys. And can you imagine if Zacchaeus, Jesus said to him, come down from the sycamore tree. Can you imagine if Zacchaeus had remained in that tree? Also, can you imagine if Zacchaeus had not invited Jesus to his house? He was going to continue being a rich, short man, lots of money, unhappy, no friends, because he was cheating them of their money, stealing from those people. So he has no friends, has lots of money, but very unhappy. Friends, it is possible. Boys and girls, it is possible. There are people who are going to church today. There are people who maybe watch uh, Christian stuff today. They're like Zacchaeus up the tree. Okay? But here's what Jesus says. Ah, Matthew 11, 28. Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, 
and I'll give you rest. I know, I can tell you that Zacchaeus was weary and burdened. He had lots of money, but there was something missing. He had no joy, he had no friends. So Jesus says, come. Okay? What does he do? He comes. <laughs> and he invites, and there's another scripture, let me see whether I can get it. Revelation 3 verse 20 says, here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they will be with me. Boys and girls, I want to tell you, Jesus is saying, come. Zacchaeus, come. Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. Are you going to come? Are you going to open the door of your heart? Are you going to, like Zacchaeus, he opened his house. He allowed Jesus to come into his house. And guess what happened? There was joy unspeakable. That thief, that cheat, suddenly is giving half his wealth to the poor. And he says, if I have cheated somebody, I'm going to give them four times. Because something had happened. He had listened to Jesus' call, come. He had opened his house to Jesus, to sup with Jesus, to have a meal with Jesus. And suddenly that Zacchaeus, we had no friends. The poor were going to be his friends. Those guys he had cheated who he paid four times were going to be his friends. Boys and girls, that call has not ended even today. Jesus is saying to many of us, come. I'm going to remain up that tree with lots of money, unhappy, no joy, or you are going to go to Jesus. Today, the house is not a building. The Bible says we're the temple of the Holy Spirit. Open your heart. Receive Jesus. And say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. <laughs> That's exactly what Zacchaeus did. And his life was changed. The unhappy man was happy. The man who had no friends suddenly has friends. If we don't do that, if we don't open the door for our hearts and allow Jesus to come in, well, I don't know what you have. I don't know what excites you. You may continue to be a miserable person without the joy of the Lord. I know when Jesus came into my heart, my life was never the same. The joy that I have in just having a relationship with Jesus a lot of things around me, like right now during COVID, may not be good, but I have the joy of the Lord. I'm excited about being a Christian. I may not have the many things, but I'm excited. Let's look at the example of Zacchaeus, Uncle Zach, boys and girls. Let Jesus be your friend. Invite him into your heart. Confess your sins and say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I know I can tell you that your life will never be the same. Do you think Zacchaeus was the same? That chief tax collector was stealing people's money. Do you think his life was the same? I don't think so. I know one thing, he was happy. He was a friend of Jesus. He had other friends. Those poor, those people he had cheated were now his friends. Those people who didn't want Jesus to go to his house, I can tell you that they became Zacchaeus' friend. You too can become Jesus' friend. If you hear his call, come, come down the tree, come from wherever you are. Let Jesus come into your heart. You will never be the same. Lord Jesus, I thank you for every boy and girl who's listening. I don't know how many Zacchaeus we have, but I know that you came for those very people. You are excited about boys and girls coming to know you. So I pray for them. 
and ask that Lord Jesus, may they receive you to become their friend. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So in Luke chapter um, 18, verse 14, for any, everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Remember, we talked about that last week. You may be up there. <laughs> Humble yourself. Come down the tree. Come to the Lord Jesus. He will change your life. You will have joy. You will have peace that we can't explain. I know that, boys and girls. There's a song we used to sing many years ago. Uh, I know a little bit of it. You say, since Jesus came into my heart, since Jesus came into my heart, there was joy. It was never the same. It can happen to you. Invite Jesus into your heart. Bye. Have a super week.